Hello, welcome back to Digger Dan Metal Detecting. You are in for a mega treat today. I am actually, I'm, I'm on holiday. I'm actually on holiday with my family, but I've uh, snuck off detecting. <laughs> um, I am in Wales. I'm in a place near um, Gross. It's a place called Grossmont. It's not far from Grossmont Castle. Um, and look at this place. Honestly, I went to the pub last night on the off chance. I was meant to be on the Knights Templar dig, um, but it got cancelled as we know. Um, so I've, I, I'd already booked a place out here for me and the family and, and we've come out um, and I went to the pub last night and managed to get myself a permission. Now look at this, look what I've got. <laughs> I've got all of this to play with, literally pretty much everything you can see as far as you can see is, uh, yeah, I'm only four miles away from that castle and there's castles everywhere in Wales, isn't there? But um, yeah, this is where we're gonna start near this stinky pile, but I'm probably gonna walk away from that a little way, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you on that first hole, guys. Can't believe this. What a beautiful place, honestly. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> really sure on uh, how my settings are going to work. The soil's totally different out here. It's very red actually. The soil's, um, I don't know what the stone is around here. It's like a like a limestone, like, I don't know if it's limestone. Is it like a car stone? I don't know actually. Um, but the soil has got, yeah, so like a very reddy clay. It's not, I don't think it's highly mineralized because there's not a lot of ground noise, but it does mean I can get a quiet spot actually. And I wouldn't usually, but I'm going to get a ground balance, I think. Try that. Just see what we get. So 21, steady. Yeah. We'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll try it. And we'll see what happens. It's very quiet. There we go. Let me, uh, let me turn this, get you the sound so you can hear. It's actually first signal, I think. Bit of a niffy. 23, 25, let's have that, let's try it. Yeah, like I say, I wouldn't usually ground balance, but seeing as the ground is in that quiet, um, and I, on my permission, usually I can't even get a clean spot to do a ground balance, so I don't bother, but it looks like a nut. <laughs> nice first find on my nice Welsh permission. Actually, I say that, I say Welsh, I think I've, I think I've crossed the border. I think I'm back in England, you know. <laughs> I just had a wander through to a uh, different little field. I'm sort of wandering because, well, I started off over there. You can just see over those, behind those trees there, there's a little bit of a stream runs through there, which I've just walked through. And I'm gonna go up into this field. I'm sort of heading uphill, if you like. Just thought I'd um, explore a little. He said, uh, you can, everything you can see, basically, I, I, uh, I can go on. So, got this one here. 40s. Sounds quite shallow actually, doesn't it? I think I'm getting reasonable depth. I had a good a bit of copper something or other at, a, at good depth, so um, yeah, it's not sparky at all. Oh look, the famous, I don't get many of those where I am, the famous Moo Tube. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bucket lister for me, that one. <laughs> Right, this is a bit sort of lower numbers than usual, I think, 48. Um, and I wasn't really expecting this, but it's it's actually a coin, unbelievably. Um, just here, it came out, it, was, it wasn't very deep at all. And like I say, I'm, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, you can see where the imprint was, look. Just see the green on the, on the clod there, still stuck. But yeah, I can't believe that. I don't know if it's gonna be a bit of a crusty one. But first coin of the day, like I said, I'm not very uh, far into the day really, I've, I've not gone far, I've, I've just wandered across the fields and straight up here onto this hill, I am just absolutely in the middle of nowhere, so I don't think there's anything on this, if I'm honest, but... But first coin of the day, it looks like a sort of penny-sized, 
coin. Um, yeah, absolutely scrubbed to death that. Nothing on it. But yeah, it's a coin. We'll take that. We'll take that in this beautiful place. Absolutely stunning. Not too far away from that coin, really. Got a th 39 to 41. Nice, bright, clear signal. It's out in the clod. In one scoop. I just wondered whether it could have been another coin so close by, but we find the, found the guy's uh, bullet case and who dropped the coin, I think. <laughs> uh, but there we are, yeah. Little bullet case and I don't think there's a lot on it. Ah, uh, yes. No, S and W something. Can't really read the rest, it's a bit scrub, but yes. Yeah, it's only kind of half a case and actually as well. It's not really a full thing, but yeah, we'll keep going. See what else we can find. I'm just loving this place. If I'm honest, I'm just I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I've I've uh, I've managed to get myself a permission in Wales or in Eng England. I think I'm just on the border, literally just on the border here. So I'm not sure whether I'm in England or Wales. I will find out. But so lucky, and it's this just stunning. Even if it is just for one day, but I'm sure I can come back here any time you like. The guy's an absolute legend, so he's a really nice guy. So, yeah, let's carry on, guys. You can tell I'm excited. <laughs> Next one was a little 1415, and it's this little button. Um, kept dropping in the holes, I was getting rather deep, but I'll let uh, Manticore was still picking it up even at the bottom of that hole. So, but uh, yeah, a little button, it's good good to see signs of life. And like I say, we're up here. This is I just feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. So it always, always surprises me when you find little things like this, little signs of life, you know. But yeah, nice little button. Twenty-five, twenty-six. This one. Got a nice little signal. I'm getting quite a lot of little bits of foil and moo tubes, that kind of thing. Had a couple more buttons. There's good signs here. That might even be another button, I think. Actually. Yeah, there's definitely signs of life around here. I think I found a little field. I think this one's got a little public footpath runs through here. Actually, there's a stile up there. I'm sure I can see a style over that side with some little arrow, the little arrow signs. But yeah, that's quite a bronzy looking button, that one. Still got some of the cotton and thread in the uh, in the loop on that, actually. <laughs> nice. I'll put that one in the pot. We'll have a look at that in the round out. Round up, round out. So this one was about 54, I think. Um, which is coming in around the same blooming numbers as those moo tubes. Um, yeah, I, I joked about it being a bucket lister, but I don't really want any bucket listers today. Not anymore. <laughs> I've already had about 10. Um, but yeah, about the same numbers as coins. And me thinking this was going to be a, bu um, a bucket lister. I'm going to call them bucket listers. <laughs> um, no, it's actually a coin. I've got this coin ball here. Look, and we've got a coin right in the middle of it. Um bear with me let's reveal this together there we go this soil actually gives um imprints it's nice to be somewhere where you get imprints <laughs> i don't get that in my soil this is very clay soil so um yeah look at that there you go and that's a nice it looks as if it's gonna have some detail on it who have we got here he's facing left uh just let me have a look guys sorry I think she, sorry, 
<laughs> it is a Vicky, a Victoria. I think it's a, a Vicky Bunhead, um, which is nice to find. There you go. It's a little bit crusty. I don't think it's going to clean up very well, but it's got some good surface to it, and you can see her face there. Just lovely job. I am following that little footpath. I walked up to that other stile that I, I said about, and I'm now following it across the field just in case, and, and it's paid off. So nice. Well, we better do this one live. Pretty solid. 88, 89, and we've got a lovely round dot on the on the screen there. I don't know if you can see it very well. But. It's either going to be big, big coin, or could it be a silver? Who knows? Who knows? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> no, what's that? It looks big and round, is that? It looks very green and bronzy looking as well. Um, no, it's a doorknob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. What is a doorknob doing up here? Hmm. Hmm. Trees had doorknobs. It's just nothing up here. <laughs> oh, I'll try and find the door. Yep, doorknob. This one's coming in at about 29:30. Um, like I say, I've dug. I've, I have actually dug quite a lot of these moo tubes. Um, they're getting quite annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of sheep around this this area. Actually, it seems to be a bit of a sheep farmer, I think. Um, more than anything else uh, but there are finds in between and we've just had and I hope I haven't just knocked the pin off that just checking sorry no I haven't that's all right uh, <laughs> we've got ourselves a little bit of a what looks like a buckle I think everything's very crusty I don't know whether it's this soil seems to really be eating away at everything but yeah some kind of a buckle there I think I would have said buckle um yeah no idea on age on that but i'm thinking sort of georgian going along with the coins that i'm finding um but yeah at least we're finding some little bits in between i'm really pleased with that you know it's nice to find stuff in between the rubbish um keeps you going a bit doesn't it <laughs> it can get a bit tedious if you're uh if you're sort of swinging along and just digging up trash constantly but um, yeah, at least there's the odd find in between it. So yeah, yeah, no, pleased with that. I'll give this one a little bit of a scuff with my trowel there. <laughs> um, but it's a little, yes, yeah, a little horsey brassy type thing. Um, just a little horse harness decoration or something like that i would have said two little leather sort of studs there look yeah definitely looks brass the way it's shining where i've scuffed it <laughs> but there you are yeah so there is some bits and bobs up here it's good what goes well this one is a bit of an odd one but i know it's got some age to it what was it it was a uh, about 13 so it's low it's bronze definitely bronze for those numbers so that has got some real age to that. Is that some kind of a toggle? Anybody got any ideas? Please, please let me know, because I just don't know. It's got a bit of an odd shape to it, hasn't it? it looks like a toggle. It looks like it would have had something around the middle there. And then it's got a very odd sort of hole through there. I don't know whether that's supposed to be there or what. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe if you're from Wales, you might have seen something like this before or... Maybe not even from Wales. You don't have to have been. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I've got. I've, I'm. I'm lost for ideas on that one. Totally. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of that. That has got some real age. I'm sure. Probably the oldest thing I've found today. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys.
this one was uh, it's pretty deep. It was way down there, a good nine inches, I'd say. That's a big old piece of lead. And as always, you've got to check it, got to check your lead. It's been cut with something quite sharp from the looks of that. Uh, but it's got these Roman numerals on it, XV. Well, I don't know what that is. Is that 15 XV? But then possibly had more numbers on it than that. Um, X is 10, isn't it? 5V is 5. So I'm, I, I'm assuming 15. I'm not 100%. I'm not totally clued up on that. But is that a V? Yeah, it's got to be, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Don't know age of that. I've got no idea. Uh, quite squared off and cut with something sharp from the look of it. Bit of, bit of some kind of snips. But yeah, different anyway. I'm not sure. Just not sure on the age of it. That's all. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure what it would have been to be honest. Used lead for all sorts, didn't they? So, but yeah, we'll put that in the pot. Well, I've sort of, uh, I've had a wander around really all over the place, and I've, I've ended up coming back to this little field with the footpath on it because I, obviously, I found some coins here. I've got a little 53, say little, quite a big 53. Again, thinking going to be Mew tubes. Um, and now it looks like we've got ourselves another coin. Just come off the top there. I think that's the imprint just there. Um, yeah, I think looking like a coin. I don't know if that's going to be. No, it's too big for a 2p actually. It's looking a bit of an odd one actually. It's got a bit of a shine to it. A bit of an odd colour. I don't know how well that's going to clean up again. It seems to be right covered in all sorts. Maybe I'll. Um, I might just give that one a clean up and come back to you. Nope, not a coin. It's got a hole in it. I don't know. Is maybe that's a sheep tag with numbers. There are some numbers there. Or oh, that's a phone number and it's a dog tag, possibly off a dog's collar. I think there's possibly a name across the middle there, but don't know. But yeah, not a coin, unfortunately. Not this time. Fifty-one, fifty-three. Not far from that path, really. Again, keep getting these big, bigger signals, and hoping for coins. <laughs> you just never know, dear. Very sticky, sticky ground here. Clay, really red clay as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a bucket lister. Another bloody Mew tube. So many of them up here. There's more of these than anything else, I think. Found bits of lead, a few buttons with a couple of coins. Strange bronze object. But we can't, you can't win them all. <laughs> And they certainly do give off a good signal, as you just heard. Oh, well, there's definitely more stuff around this area, around this little footpath. This was coming in at about a 23, and I think that... Is, am I right in saying that's one of those sort of policeman whistle type thing? Could just be a dog whistle, I guess, but... It's got that age look to it. Now, I've only ever found one of these, and that was on that uh, Woburn dig. Oh, when I hopped that gate there, and I... Uh, Someone had actually dropped one, so I didn't really find it or, as such. Someone else did and lost it again. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think that's what that is. I'm pretty pretty sure that's what that is. I gave that a little clean out in there. Um, that's kind of the back end of one, isn't it? I gather that would have been hung off of something on a little chain or or something or other. Looks like it's got a little bit of an irony thing through there. But yeah, I'm gathering that's what that is. If you've got any other ideas, if you do know any different, let me know, please. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll just add this one here, guys. They're coming in at a 25, I think, which is very, very low. And, I, you know, I'm thinking, even when I saw the edge of it, I thought it was going to be a button. There's a little part of the imprint on there. Um, and I've, I've given it a clean-up, because like I say, I thought it was a button. But 
It's actually a coin. Now, where did I see? Can barely see anything on it. It's that scrubbed. Again, I don't know what this this soil just. I think it's red sandstone round here. I think that's why the the ground is so red. That's um, but yeah, I think hard to see on the camera. I think uh, top top of the coin there. I think I can see a one V. Was it there? Yeah, it is just on that left side. I can, you can hardly see it. V V one. Is that like a George si Edward the Sixth, George the Sixth, George George Sixth, isn't it? Yeah, um, Edward the Seventh. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Can you? I don't know if you can just see that V one there on that edge. Very faint, but yeah, like I say, totally scrubbed. But another coin, third coin of the day. So I'm pleased with that. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems to obviously it's really eating away at these coins. But yeah, another coin. Nice. I'm sort of heading towards doing the roundup, I think, and I've just had this one. It's about 13, 14. Um, yeah, we've got ourselves a little little bit of a buckle. I've kind of taken myself up to the highest point here. Um, well, on this part permission anyway, as you can see, I'm fairly high up. Sort of hills and mountains in the background. Stunning, stunning place. But yeah, might finish up there on a on a buckle. I'll have five more minutes and see if I find anything else. I'll let you know. See you in a sec. Right, well there we are, guys. That is it for the new permission. Um, whether I'll ever come back here, I I don't know. I don't know. This is you know it's weird, isn't it? I've got permission the other side of the country from where I live. So, um, yeah, what a stunning place. Just absolutely beautiful i've just been so privileged to just be here today i think um to go out to the pub at nine o'clock at night and get a permission for the next day you know is is just what well, luck of the draw isn't it you're not gonna it's, it's a once in a lifetime really isn't it um i don't know about it around here but norfolk is hard to get a permission i think i'll have to go to the pub more often <laughs> um but i've had a cracking day the fines are not incredible but it, you know i've i've had some decent little bits i don't know the land i don't know what what's where and you know i've I've just wandered and um and i've i've come up trumps so i think i've done all right um for what it is but yeah let's have a look what we found today guys so here we go guys yeah like i say this is my day today i think i'm just gonna quickly swap this to the right side of me because the sun is over there <laughs> i was trying to block you from the wind but um hopefully it's not too bad but it is windy up here so um but yeah like you say like i say you can you can see what's what's sort of going on here I've plenty of buttons um possible dog tag strange piece of lead there with a with xv 15 isn't it i gather i don't know <laughs> 10 and 5 yeah it says 15 to me um but yeah no idea what that is or what sort of age i've got no idea um like i say plenty of buttons everything's very crusty up here the soil seems to eat everything so um yeah little buckle nice little buckle there another little piece of buckle that we just had um like I said, I believe that's a policeman's whistle. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, let me know what you think of that. Any of these finds, guys, if you you know if you've got a better idea than I have, let me know. Um, love the comments. Uh, don't always get round to commenting back, but I do read them all. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll I'll be able to answer all the questions and whatnot. But yeah, there's there's some nice little bits there. Um, there's that odd. That's very odd. I still don't know what that is. I've got no idea. It's bronze. God, it looks like a top, doesn't it? It's something. It's, it's definitely old. It's definitely bronze as well. So, yeah, please let me know what you think of that. I've got no idea. It's very confusing. <laughs> Some kind of a toggle or something, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, we've got a little horsey, brassy thing there. Uh, little horse leather decoration. Um, and that's about it for sort of artifacts and artifacts. Um, and coins wise, we've managed three coins today, which isn't bad actually, I don't think. Um, mostly from around this little footpath that I've been going up and down. 
Yeah, we've got Victoria uh, Bunhead there. Don't even know which way up she is because it's there we go. I think it's that way. It's that crusty. I can't hardly see her anymore. Um, yeah, they're, they're all pretty mullered, like I say. This one had a had a V1, I think I said, didn't I? I think it's there. I don't know if you can see that again. Yeah, V1 there. I think. I think that's what that is. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But I think. Look at the size of that. I mean, it's smaller than a half penny. That's a that's a penny and a half penny there, and that's slightly smaller. So I'm thinking possible farthing. I don't know. I could be totally wrong there, but yeah, uh, pretty scrubbed. <laughs> In all guys I yeah I think it's a pretty good day I've, I've loved every second of it like I say just been to be an able to get out I'm on my holiday um, we've been visited a few nice places went to see um, where Shakespeare was born and where his sort of childhood home was I'll put some pictures up of these of the little trips on, the, on my holiday um, so yeah we've been to visit a sort of a few little bits a nice castle down the road Grothmont Castle uh, which is right next to where we're staying. Um, yeah, I think that was King John's uh, friend, sort of servant that lived there actually. And he was he came from Norfolk, so uh, yeah, quite fitting. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me. Uh, I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to leave you on a, a little view of this beautiful, beautiful place uh, to finish off. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll um, see you on the next one. Don't lose it, don't let confuse it Only then you'll be gone